subscribe to Plunder. The family of Summer Wells has started a GoFundMe page. I know it's from them because I was checking the Facebook page of Candace Herrer, I guess Candy. I believe this is Candace Wells' mom, so that would be Summer's grandmom. I saw this missing child, Summer Wells, five years old, missing since June 15th from Rogersville, Tennessee. And I saw this new link. So this just happened an hour ago. Today is Thursday, June 24th. So this was posted ironically around 6.30, the same time that Summer Wells was called in to police and reported missing. So it says, Finding Summer Wells, organized by Rose Meyer. We'll head on over there. Already people are questioning it, but it is a Finding Summer Wells missing child update. People are giving. Thus far, $100 have been raised out of a $10,000 goal. Rose Meyer, I'm not sure who that is, and two others are organizing the fundraiser created six hours ago under accidents and emergencies. It says, on the evening of Tuesday, June 15th, 2021, five-year-old Summer Wells of Hawkins County, Tennessee vanished without a trace. Now, earlier the press conference said that Summer's last sighting was earlier that afternoon. Summer had been planting flowers with her grandmother and decided to go into the house to play with her toys. She hasn't been seen since. The family lives in rural, mountainous Tennessee and the property is surrounded by woods. Search dogs have found no trace of her scent and search parties have found no sign of her. Where she went or what happened to her remains a mystery. The stress of having a missing child is unimaginable. The grief is unbearable. This makes daily functions, such as working, interrupted. There is no manual for reacting and coping with the personal aspects. Having to deal with constant overturning and searching of property, law enforcement queries, and the press are unchartered territory for anyone. Summer's parents, Candace and Don, and her three older brothers have had their lives turned upside down and inside out. This family needs so much more than financial assistance, but that's mostly what the public at large is able to provide. There is great love inside this family, yet the family is not of means, living without many basic necessities. Certainly they have made do with what they have and formed a loving family yet could use some support. This family will also need some mental health and spiritual support when summer is found. Please consider donating to the Wells family at this unexpectedly, incomprehensibly grievous time in their lives. Grievous. Grievous. Something bad or very serious. Please consider donating to the Wells family at this unexpectedly, incomprehensibly grievous time in their lives. If, if you are unable to help financially, please offer prayers for the return of this sweet, innocent girl who loves to dance. Also, please share the link for this account to your friends via email and social media. We thank you in advance for all your assistance in bringing Summer home. So, I see that the organizer is from Rogersville, Tennessee, and they're different team members. And I know this will be controversial. It'll be, it brings conflicting emotions. It's like, it's almost like I want to give. I want to give, and I've thought about that. I want to give towards a reward. I was thinking, should I send money to the sheriff's office? But I know they are not having the time to deal with all these rewards right now. I thought of even sending money to their Seventh Day Adventist Church. Or I really wanted to get supplies, get more money to the searchers. You know, they had so many supplies and everything that they were giving some of it to the wells. And of course, you got to feel for the boys still in that home. But already. The fact that 
there are these needs when we don't know what happened this summer, when we have all these proven domestic incidents that have happened in that home, and then we have all the unverified but very troubling rumors coming out on social media about this family. I think everyone is just focused on Summer, and they're focused on wanting to find her, and they just want answers. You know, we know, we know that Don Wells has come forward and claimed that Candace passed the lie detector test, but people want to hear that from law enforcement. They want to hear that the parents have been cleared of any wrongdoing. They haven't come out and said that. In the sad press conference today, it looked like the TBI public information officer was almost just giving up hope. And now we see the family, of course, they're probably being asked, how can people help you? And we see these, but unfortunately to some people, it looks like a money grab. Many people want to help. They want to make sure it goes to the search for Summer Wells. They want to make sure it goes towards her well-being and the well-being of the children in the home and not for any other purposes. It's just very conflicting. I know the GoFundMe will be controversial because this post from Christian Juan of WCYB has already got tongues wagging. Many of you have reached out asking how you can help Summer's brothers. Here's some information from their church family. The family likes to eat Little Caesars or any pizza, Golden Corral, and Mama's house. They like Hot Wheels, model cars, and could use a tablet. Would love to go to any indoor trampoline park. Waylon is age 9, shoe size 6, clothing size 10 through 12. Wyatt is age 11, shoe size 9, clothing size 14 through 16. Josie is age 12, shoe size 9, clothing size 16 through 18. Any gifts can be dropped off at the Kingsport Seventh Day Adventist Church, 3025 Fort Henry Drive, Kingsport, Tennessee, during these hours. I'm glad they gave the address. Wednesdays, uh, 5.30 through 7.30. Fridays, 4.30 through 6.30 p.m. Saturday, 9 a.m. through 12.30 p.m. She wrote, I can say the Beach Creek community has been so giving and caring after being here for more than a week. I've met so many kind and thoughtful people willing to help anyone in need. We appreciate you all. There are the boys so far just in eight hours today, Thursday, June 24th, since it was posted at noon. The comments are going crazy. People are wondering, please rescue this dog. Is this dog pregnant? And so they have issues and I wonder if that's that famous barrel that used to say for sale. I don't know. It's We want to help. It's conflicting because we want to help. People want to reach out. They want to do anything they can, and they just feel, what do we do? If you go to the comment section on this post, you will see some people are outraged, and some people are saying, oh, are you making money off of Summer's back? Or... You know, why is it going towards these things? And others are saying, don't judge them. And I can imagine all the confusion. Me, in the meanwhile, just like many others, I think the conflict is there because we don't know what happened to Summer. If it were some tragedy, we just don't know. And so people do want to give and reach out. At this point, I want these boys to be okay. Maybe if it were a GoFundMe strictly for the boys or... I don't know if this church would accept checks and send them to the boys like to make sure they're okay because they are children and we don't know how they've been raised or what they've been through. That could be an issue. There's a lot of conflict because people don't know what's going to happen. Just like with the Barry Morphew case, the Finding Suzanne Morphew GoFundMe got all this money and it's still just sitting there. And her husband was arrested. So it's that conflicting feeling of wanting to do something, wanting to give to the right place, but not knowing what. In my mind, I just want the TBI, the local police, and the FBI, I want all of them built up with our prayers and donations. Those are the guys who are out there searching in that treacherous terrain. Let's just close with... 2 Thessalonians 3.3 3. 
but the Lord is faithful. He will strengthen you and protect you from the evil one. We'll just pray about where to give, how to give, what to give, and take the news day by day and continually pray for summer to be found and for God to reveal the truth of what really happened to her so this confusion can go away. In Jesus, thank you so much for watching. Take care.